In this video, we will show how to run six simultaneous stable diffusion inferences on a single Grando device equipped with six NVIDIA 4090 GPUs. Grando AI with 4090, one of the best solutions to handle AI inferences. Many inferences of AI work only utilizing one GPU per one installation. Multiple installations can be done using virtualization. Here we will show how it can be installed with no virtualization. Such a solution can be easily used by a work group or a team or a company to provide access to AI inferences for marketing specialists or employees to do their common tasks better and faster. Stable diffusion here is just an example. Using this guide, you can install different instances of any AI inference you need. Same could be done for other neural networks, including up-to-date LLMs. We will install a stable diffusion fork with a web interface. We will install it via SSH connection. Let's start. Let's connect to the terminal via SSH first. In this example, the machine has the address 192.168.15.244. After a successful connection, let's pause to familiarize ourselves with the machine. The operating system in use is Ubuntu 2.2.04.03. Let's check the processor that is installed in the system. It is AMD Risen Threadripper Pro 3995WX64 cores. Let's check the motherboard. It is Asus DEC Pro WSWRX80 Sage Wi Fi 2. Let's check the amount of RAM. The system has 512 GB of RAM, but the display indicates a slightly lower value of 503 GB. Let's check drivers. There is only one driver in the system, the same disk the operation system is installed on, it is NVMe 0 and 1. We familiarized ourselves with the machine. Now let's move on to the setup. First we need to download and install the GPU drivers in CUDA. The CUDA package contains the drivers, so you will only have to download it. The downloading and installation process has commenced and the duration will depend on the speed of your internet connection. After the installation is complete, reboot the machine. The machine is now in operation, let's connect. Let's check if GPU drivers are installed. Let's see the driver version, as well as GPU models and their number. The NVIDIA SMI command gave the output, so the driver installation was successful. We see 6 4090 GPUs and driver version is 545. Let's set up the required packages for a stable diffusion operation. Let's download stable diffusion files. Let's go to the downloaded folder. Let's create several copies of the script to launch stable diffusion. Let's add an option to the copied files to run stable diffusion on a specific GPU. Let's launch Stable Diffusion for the first time to download the required files and check that it functions properly. Upon completion, you'll receive a notification stating model loaded in. This signifies the successful initiation of the model. Let's pause the operation by using the CTRL plus C command in the active terminal. Let's launch six instances of stable diffusion.
Let's open the browser and follow the links. The last digit of the port number corresponds to the card number in the system, that's to say 7860 is card number 0, 7861 is card number 1, and so on. Stable diffusion is now accessible. Video card monitoring started on the second terminal. Let's set the values we need on all six instances and upload the image. Next, let's run the load. We will generate 15 images per one instance. Rendering is underway on all GPUs. In each case, it is evident that the workload is evenly distributed among all GPUs. Rendering got finished, let's see the results. We see that the images have been generated on each instance successfully. You see that it's quite easy to install the popular Stable Diffusion on our Grand O machine for inference, six instances, one per card. Other type of configurations are available for purchase with the professional NVIDIA GPUs, well 4DS, A100, H100. For the more demanding tasks, Grand O devices provide best-in-class performance, reliability, scalability, and unique configurations running up to six GPUs per one high-frequency CPU, up to 96 cores, in the following videos we will show more options for installing neural networks using virtual machines. Camino AI presenter thanks you for watching and keeping up with our latest news and updates. 